Let's look at question number 34 in the final exam for Teach Yourself Electricity and Electronics, 5th edition. Please refer to page 668. We have an AC sine wave with a frequency of 1.60 kilohertz. What is the period of this wave? Well, frequency is generally symbolized as F, a lowercase f, in a, as a variable in the equations, and period is symbolized as an uppercase letter T. If you want to get really technical, those should be in italics. Uh, however, that would be nitpicking a little bit here. This is the wave time going off like that, voltage positive going up, negative going down, and you're familiar with all of that. The period is the length of time that it takes for exactly one cycle to be completed. Well, in any wave, any periodic wave that repeats at a constant rate or a constant frequency, the period is equal to 1 over the frequency, that is the reciprocal of the frequency, provided that we express the frequency in hertz, then we get the period in seconds. Well, we've been given the frequency in kilohertz as 1.60 kilohertz which is 1600 hertz. So the period is 1 divided by 1600 seconds. 1 1600th of a second. Now if you take a calculator and find the reciprocal of 1600, you're going to get 0 0.000625 seconds. Well, that's not any of the choices that we see here. However, if we express this in milliseconds instead, we get T equals 0 0.625 milliseconds. Actually, this S should be a lowercase s. If it were a capital S, we'd be talking about millisiemens, conductance. Again, we get technical. These these symbols can get very confusing, and some of my readers have expressed consternation at that. Yes, uh, this MS is not italicized because it's a unit. Generally, when you talk about units, like volts, amperes, seconds, meters, the letters are not italicized, but when you talk about a variable, a quantity as a variable like period, then you do italicize those letters. If that's not confusing enough for you, the uppercase letter T represents period, and the lowercase level uh, letter T, however, would mean time. This can, as you already have gathered, get quite confusing. But uh, as time goes by, practice makes perfect. T equals 0 0.625 milliseconds, which is choice D, as in delta.